Hi everyone, I'm Siri, the creator of the Deckmate. I've been getting a lot of questions on how to assemble your 3D printed parts, so I put together a quick how-to for you so that you can get it done correctly. Let's go. So these are the 3D printed parts that you can download for free off of Deckmate.me. You'll notice that you can print them all without supports. So I'm just gonna continue here to remove the parts from the bed, uh, and then I will organize them as I talk about what you'll need to assemble. So what you'll need to assemble are going to be springs, and you'll need two springs per mechanism. Just a quick note here that pen springs do work here in case you don't want to buy your own. You'll also need to get three M2.5 by 3.4 millimeter heat set inserts, which are linked below, and you'll need three M2.5 by 6 millimeter countersunk screws per mechanism. You'll also need to buy one kickstand mechanism that you can buy on Amazon, and I'll link that below and you'll need your own VHB adhesive, which is also linked below in the description. Okay, so let's organize our 3D printed parts. I'm just going to set aside all the parts except for the bottom mechanism, uh, because we're gonna start to put in our M2.5 inserts, which is the first step of assembly. So you wanna put in each tapered insert into the hole for the bottom mechanism, uh, and you wanna make sure that you get the skinny side in so that it's, it's held in place by the mechanism itself. Next, we'll grab our soldering iron. Here it's equipped with a heat set insert tip, and we will press it against the metal insert, give it a couple seconds to melt, and push down gently so that the heat set inserts end up flush with the surface. You don't want these to be proud, so if anything, err on the side of being sub-flush just a little bit. So you're gonna need to print one mechanism per mount that you wanna print, so keep that in mind when you're buying materials and printing your parts. Okay, next let's continue to assemble our mechanisms. So grab all of the spring parts that you have purchased for your assembly. So this is just a close-up of the spring. You can see a pen spring will work in this case. So grab the top mechanism and insert one spring per hole on the top mechanism. The top mechanism is designed to slide over the bottom mechanism and then engage with the snap feature. So you can see the bottom mechanism has a center stem and a hole. So make sure that when you slide it over, those two parts are engaged. So here I'm showing you wanna line up your springs with the bottom mechanism as well, and use the stem to align it. And then as you're pushing the mechanism in, you wanna lift that little cantilever arm so that it snaps into place. I always like to move it up and down a couple of times to make sure that there is no wiggle, but also that it's not sticking. If your mechanism is sticking, it could be a couple of things. Just go back and check your print settings because they could be off. Make sure that you're using the same material. The other problem that could happen is if you put the heat set insert incorrectly at an angle or if you melt the material too much, it could cause that wall to come out and interfere with the mechanism. So that would prevent it from moving up and down easily. Okay, now that the mechanisms are assembled, we can start to screw together our mounts. So this one's the VESA mount. Uh, those three holes will align with your mechanism, so you just have to basically screw them together. What I like to do is I like to grab one screw and first tighten that one together. And these screws don't have to be very tight. It just can be pretty loose. Uh, and what I do is I put one in there, and then that allows me to align the other two. And then you can quickly screw the rest of the screws down. So one thing to note here is that sometimes if you screw it down too tightly, the mechanism will stick. So what you can do in that case is just come and back out those screws just a tiny bit, and then your mechanism should be able to glide smoothly after that. Okay, next let's assemble the wall mount. It's a very similar story as the VESA, so you just grab your mechanism, and you have to align all three screws in the same way. In this case, I actually like to put all three screws in at once. And then what you can do is you can put your screwdriver on one to hold it down and then use that screw that's poking through the back to align it with the threaded insert in the front. And then you can just screw that insert in. Then you do the same trick with the second screw in there so you can align that screw as well. And then the third screw is just very easy because it's guaranteed to be aligned. Finally, you'll want to put VHB here on the back so that you can actually align it to the wall and actually press it wherever you would like to have it flush. Moving on to the universal puck, it's literally the exact same thing. All you have to do is align the mechanism to, and screw all three screws down. 
This mount also requires an adhesive on the back to mount your accessories. So this is what I'm showing here is just assembling that. In this case, I have the exact right size, but you'll probably have to cut back your VHB to fit in this space correctly. All right, moving on to the heart and soul of the system. This is our kickstand parts here. You can see we're going to follow the same procedure where we just screw the mechanism onto the back plate uh, with all the three screws. Uh, and I'll just show that real quick. So this is the internal part of the kickstand mechanism, and you can buy these from Alibaba or Amazon. They're all the same design, uh, so just keep that in mind if you're in a different country. You can buy as long as it looks like this. So what you see here is I'm applying the VHB onto one side because when you buy it from Amazon, it only has VHB on one side to adhere to your phone. So it doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to be a hidden part. So as long as you have enough adhesive on there for it to have a strong connection, then it should be good. Here I'm peeling back the VHB liner so that I can then put this assembly onto the kickstand 3D printed parts. You wanna make sure to press pretty hard because VHB is a pressure sensitive adhesive. So that'll ensure that it's really strong on there. The next thing is you wanna make sure that the kickstand is in the right orientation. So this is the correct orientation shown here. Uh, if you turn it upside down, it does work, but not nearly as well. So this is just something you want to keep an eye on before you adhere it together. So these next steps are very simple. All you have to do is remove the liner. Again, ensure that the orientation is correct and then press it together. And again, VHB is pressure sensitive. So if you want it to adhere well, you want to push down really hard and firmly uh, evenly across the whole surface. So this is me doing one side, and then you do the exact same thing for the other. So this next part here is the Deckmate adapter. Uh, and this is designed so that you can just put VHB and adhesive on the back, and then you can adhere this onto any third-party case or accessory you might have. And then you can use all the Deckmate mounts on it exactly the same as you would if you had the grip on your Steam Deck. To use the Deckmate grip, you just have to align it using the vent on the top, and then you press it down on the bottom and it snaps into place. This allows you to use any deck mate mount, including the kickstand, just like this. And that's it. Congratulations. You have fully assembled your first 3D printed deck mate parts. What's beautiful about this is you can always print more if you messed up or if you want to make a remix. Have at it. Have fun. Happy making.